हेलो गाइस टुडे वी लर्न व्हाट इज सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज अ एसडीएलसी सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल वी कैन आल्सो कॉल एज अ सिस्टम डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल इट इज अ अ प्रोसेस व्हेन यू स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग एनी टाइप ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर व्हिच कंटेन्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फेजेस और डिफरेंट फेजेस लाइक प्लानिंग designing building testing and deployment these are the main stages or main phases which are considered into the software development life cycle software li li development life cycle it is a process which is it is start with the development of the process and end with the deployment of the particular process so we start with the first phase which is a planning phase planning phase contains need of the project objective of the project what are the problem definition of the particular project or any software and next requirement analysis so we start with the need of the project so we consider a one case study how we uh, go through the software development cycle for a, a particular project like uh, we consider the one case study as a online marketplace e-commerce website for a uh, mobile devices and accessories so in this case study we studied the web, uh, how to create a web application for online shopping to purchase mobiles and the accessories for mobiles so our problem definition is consider the scenario of order order processing someone wants to buy mobile or the accessories we use this web application which provides the facility to shop the product online with a wide range of products and also secure transaction so this is our overview of this particular online shopping cart so what is the need of the particular project so the main object of the project is to help to user to easy way to navigate the customer details and solve the customer problems so which type of problems so we consider here uh, the problems related to shop offline instead of online and giving a base price to the particular user which is less or as compared to good than offline the manager of the mobile store also find it sufficient enough to view the details of the sales servicing will organize the way to employ the staff that are include in the mobile store itself a computerized report in a particular format can be generated when the particular user can purchase the particular mobile device or accessories the system generate a one report which include the in all information about the particular purchasing availability of the mobiles can be checked means we can create one catalog which contains the all information about the particular seller and how they how many devices or how many accessories they are sell so we can create one count to the particular user as per the count they can check the availability of the particular devices or not the details of the sales and purchasing of the mobile will be recorded in the system so details of the particular selling and purchasing both for the seller as well as the particular customer all information stored in the particular system so what are the different advantages of this particular system so we can first mention the advantages of the particular system is first is save time so save fuel save energy when we go outside to purchase any devices or any accessories offline in a particular shop you can s uh, you you can manage this time as well as you have to uh use some cars and motorcycles because shops are more than 2 or 3 kilometers so you can waste your fuel as well as time as well as energy also so instead of you can when you buy the particular devices online you can save the time fuel and energy also. then comparison prices when you go for online you have the number of devices are available so you can compare the device with the particular features as well as the price concern next 24 by 7 av availability so you can choose any type any any mobile any time and you can purchase any mobile any time because our site is running 24/7 so, but when you go for offline shops are not open at night 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock so you can purchase any devices at night or in the morning also hate waiting in lines so number of queues are there in the shops so you can avoid those lines also to assume to buy 
if you buy to something low price devices with low features so don't assume go for the online website easy to search merchandise you want to buy so we have a number of info a uh, number of sellers with with us which contains all the information of the all sellers so using the choosing the particular seller you can choose the particular device these are the advantages are available with this our online e-commerce website for mobile devices and application and accessories this is an overview of software so we create one this was some type one type of architecture how to user interact with the system and how the different processes and different functionality which are provided to the particular user and what are the background of the particular system which contains catalog database user database account database and how the particular user can purchase the particular mobile how the order is processed so this one basic architecture for our software so phase one so when we develop any software or, or any system first phase is planning phase so requirement ana analysis is one of the part of the planning phase after need objective of the pro uh, problem definition we are going to the requirement analysis before going to the any development of the any software or any system we have to clear this requirement from the user as well as the particular developers so the requirement analysis contains two types of requirement analysis one is functional and non functional so functional requirements are different non functional requirements are different so there are some part of the technical fun uh, requirements are a part of the functional some part of the technical requirements are part of the non functional so requirement analysis with the functional requirement so what is functional requirement in software engineering a functional requirement defines a function of a system and its components a function is described as a set of inputs the behavior and output so what is the function provided by the system or what is the function of the particular software it is a one requirement of the particular system or it is one functional requirement of the particular system so functional requirement depends on the input behavior and output behavior means what is the functionality provided by the system so functional requirement contains what type of inputs what is the behavior and what type of output functional requirement may be calculations technical details data manipulation processing and other specific functionality that define what a system is supposed to accomplish okay the international institute of business analysis iiba defines functional requirement as the product capabilities or things that a product must do for its users so which type of functionality which is provided to the users it is called as a functional requirement of the particular system functional requirement defines how software behaves to meet user needs so it's all all about the user needs and how the software behave with the user needs so depending on your organization approach to software development functional requirement may be expressed as requirement statements use case scenarios and user stories so for our case study we find out some requirement analysis and like some functional requirements then we go for the non functional requirement what is non functional requirement in a system engineering and requirement engineering non functional requirement is a requirement the specific criteria that can be used to judge the operation of a system rather than a specific behavior so it is not considered with the specific behavior but the requirement which has non functional requirements which is not a part of the behavior of the system but these are the useful for the customer this should be contrasted with the functional requirement that defines specific behavior or functions so it is very totally contrast to the functional requirement let's see which type of non functional requirements are general non functional requirements are there so non functional requirements are often called as a qualities of a system other terms of non functional requirements are constraints quality attributes quality goals quality of service requirements and the non behavioral requirements so non uh, non functional requirement defines the security and the quality of the particular product or product or particular software execution qualities such as security and usability which are observable at run time evolution qualities such as testability maintainability extensibility and scalability which are embodied in the static structure of the software system 
so this is the function requirement of our case study which is a e-commerce website for mobile devices and accessories so first part is a registration is one of the first requirement from the input as a part of the input from the user if a customer wants to buy their product then he or she must be registered unregistered users can go to the shopping cart so it must next login customer login to the system by entering valid user id and password for the shopping so after registration they got a one user and password and using the user and password and password they can log to the particular system then changes to cart changes to cart means the customer after login or, or registration can make order or cancel order of the product from the shopping cart after login customer can buy any type of devices or accessories and then they are log out next is payment for customer there are many types of secure billing will be prepared as debit or credit card postpaid as after shipping like a cash on delivery check or bank draft the security will be provided by third party like paypal paytm etc so it is part of the paytm sorry it is part of the payment which can consider the particular security purpose next is a lockout after the payment of or serve the product the customer will log out after the payment the particular customer is logged out then report generation after all transaction the system can generate the portable document file dot pdf and then send to one copy to the customer's email address and another one for the system database to calculate the monthly transactions so every customer got their invoice technical issues this system will work on client server architecture it will require an internet server and which will be able to run applications so internet service required must the system su should support some commonly used browsers such as internet explorer google chrome or mozilla firefox these are the basic requirements then we move to the non functional requirements so these are the non functional requirements for our case study first is documentation availability efficiency effectiveness interoperability documentation is one of the part of the product system when you start to gather some requirements from the customer you have to maintain some documentations write some diagrams architectures and use case uh, diagrams for the your system so it shows the behavior of the particular system then availability availability of the particular devices on your online card shop it is very important if the customer log into the system and these devices are not available with your website then they cannot log in again to your system efficiency how your system is very efficient how they perform very well how they uh, fulfill the requirement of the particular customer it is very important effectiveness effectiveness means when you particular customer want to log into the system and uh, and purchase anything from the particular system or software it is not uh, lacking in the particular software if the lagging in the software then the customer avoid to purchase anything from the particular website so customer need a immediate response from the particular system so effectiveness is very important interoperability means if particular customer can move from one page to another page one device to the accessory access to the another devices so it is important to the uh, software it is very important to provide this type of needs this type of requirements fulfill the requirements of the customer next is maintainability maintainability means you have to maintain your software daily means you have to check that any type of lags lags are there any type of bugs are there any types of problems which are faced by the customer any type of reviews are given by the particular customer to the system about the uh, needs of the customer you have to check that audit control audit control may be uh, non technical or technical so it is very important audit control to run the system continuously backup backup of the particular data it is very important when the particular customer purchase anything from from your software you have to make a backup of the particular invoice or the data it is very important when if customer return to the website and it requires the invoice of the particular mobile device which is purchased purchased in last month then you have to immediately given this particular invoice to the customer on their mail address so backup is very important backup is also important to store the information about the customer to recommend new devices to the customer when the customer login again to to your software 
so backup is very important in configuration management and performance performance of the system is very important so there is no lagging in the particular software software is respond very quickly very fastly it is very important reliability capability security testability what is reliability how your software is very reli reliable to the customer what is the capability of the of your software means how many users can interact with the software at a time how many client you can serve at a time it is very important next is security when the particular customer buy any any type of devices or any type of accessories they can transfer their money to the debit card or credit card so security is maintained by third party it is very important next is testability disaster recovery and deployment after completion of the particular software you have to deploy the particular software successfully so these are the functional and non functional requirements of a particular e-commerce website which is part of the first phase which is planning phase then we go through these next phases in next series thank you